I got this solar charge controller, MPPT solar charge controller off eBay. I believe it was about thirty dollars. It was uh, pretty, maybe actually maybe it's forty eight dollars. Now I forget. I'll have to uh, put link in the, in the description. But it was relatively cheap. It was well less than hundred dollars. I think it was. I think it, by the time I got shipping and stuff, it was about fifty bucks. Um, it was a really cheap one, and apparently it is a proper MPPT. The problem is this is a boost charge controller. So this is the best and the worst charge controller you can buy on eBay, and I'll tell you why. Let's go ahead and get it hooked up to the power so you can see the display, and we'll go from there. Here's a look at the screen. This is one of the best screens that I honestly I've seen on any charge controller. It's uh, got colors on it. Um, it's got the volts. It's got the amps, and it's got the watts. That's why I think it is the uh, best solar panel. Uh, sorry, solar charge controller that you can get. I've looked high and low for charge controllers that um, show wattage and most of them show, pretty much all of them show volts and amps. Only the higher end MPPT, you're talking $200, $300 range and up, will actually show the wattage. Now the wattage is just a calculation of volts times amps. So you would think all the cheap charge controllers should be able to do that simple calculation. So that's the best feature of it, that it has watts. Um, and I don't have it plugged into a battery right now. I should Maybe I can see if I can get it plugged into my battery. But this is what it looks like when it's on. It shows the voltage coming in from the solar panels. I've got two 3 watt panels for a total of 6 watts. I know not very much, but um, they are 12 volt panels each. And uh, so it's showing a total of 24 volts. Now the thing about this is that uh, it is a boost converter. Um, and this is the worst part. This is the worst uh, charge controller because um, it's a good deal for an MPPT, and apparently it is a true MPPT, but the problem is you can't actually charge 12 volt batteries with it. Because it's a boost controller, it will only charge stuff that has a higher voltage than the solar panels that are coming into it. So for example, I could charge a 36 volt system, or a 48 volt system. Um, I would not be able to charge uh, a 12 volt system at this point because the voltage from the solar panels is too low. It, won't, it, doesn't, it doesn't boost downwards, it doesn't lower the voltage, it, it's a boost, uh, uh, boost controller, so it boosts up the voltage from the solar panels. So if you have a large bank, you know, multiple 12 volt batteries in, in a, uh, you know, a 48 volt battery bank or something like that, then this controller, this uh, charge controller will work fine, and, and many people do use it like that uh, because it's so cheap. Um, but because I'm only running a 12 volt system, and that's really the only the ever the system that I'm going to run. I, I do smaller projects, off grid stuff. I don't have the money or the need for big 36, 48 volt systems. Um, and then you need special inverters to uh, to uh, down, you know, to convert uh, 36 volts to 120 volts, etc. Just you just need different inverters. And I don't have that. The most prevalent is 12 volt. So. This is the best because it shows the wattage, and I've not found anything else that shows wattage, and that's really what I want to see because that's the kind of the summation of how how well your panels are doing and how much you're drawing in. For example, at that, uh, um, I should be able to see um, you know six watts coming in, 100%, if I plug it into a battery. All right, you know what? I was going to try and hook it up quick to my 12 volt, but then I just remembered, oh yeah, I can't actually charge it with this because it's only 12 volt. So yeah, so I'm back to my issue. It is the best charge controller because of the wattage, and it's the worst because it's a boost controller. So you get an awesome deal for this thing. And like I say, for some people, they put it on their solar panel wall, and uh, they have big battery banks. But for me, it's totally useless. This does only have a battery connection and solar connection, so it doesn't have a load connection um, like other uh, charge controllers like this. This has solar panel on the right, in the middle you've got your battery, and on the, uh, on the right, sorry, on the left you've got your solar panel, on the right you have your load. This doesn't do any of that, this is pure kind of utilitarian usage, and they wasted such a beautiful screen, 
on something that otherwise, you know, most people can't use. It also has a very loud fan in it, which goes all the time. I'm not even going to go through the settings. It has a, a very nice battery indicator, three colors, um, and a, a battery indicator here. And it's got all the information you want on screen, the amp hours on screen there, <clears throat> and the elapsed time, the total voltage of the panels, etc. It's really nice, and it's got a lot of, it's actually got a lot of settings, and there's other videos that do a much, uh, a, uh, a very thorough job of telling you the settings of this. But I, I guess to sum up, and I've repeated myself a few times, it's the best charge controller because it's NPPT, and the price is very good at less than $50, and it shows wattage, and it's the worst because people like me with 12 volt systems can't use this thing because it's a boost controller. If they only made this in just a regular non-boost configuration, I would recommend this as kind of the best <clears throat> bang for your buck and the best overall just because, purely because of that wattage uh, show showing there on the screen. Because I find that's the most helpful for giving you kind of the overall idea of how well your charge controller system is doing. Briefly, it does come with a, a manual, um, operating instructions, MPPT, solar charge controller. You know, it is what it is. Um, it's your standard thing. It kind of goes through the options. 1.8 H TFT dot matrix full color display. Again, why don't we see this on other charge controllers? I don't get it. And of course, they show you the connection. But that battery is not just a 12 volt battery. That is a 36 or whatever else you got there. So there's all the displays, it goes through all the menus, etc. There's a lot of configuration you can do here. You can, you can set your, your boost voltage um, uh, so that you can uh, charge you know, 48 volt systems or 72 volt systems or whatever else you have there. So you can actually set it and boost it up quite a bit. But again, so I think just my wrap up of this solar charge controller is it's the best because of the wattage. It's the worst because you can't actually charge 12 volt batteries with it, which I expected. So this is a lead weight to me right now. I can't really use it for anything. So I'll probably resell this on eBay. Uh, but there you go. Um, I'll look at the uh, MPT 7210A MPPT Solar Charge Controller. I assume if you know if you have a, a battery bank that's uh, 24, 36, 48 volt, it's this will be a this could be a great little unit for you. But it is very loud. And if you're running a 12 volt system, this is absolutely useless for you.